On this episode of Inside Stalls, Lost and Found, the story of the lost chord. Some facts, some fiction, and some wonderful discoveries surrounding one of the great mysteries of the automobile world. A world of wonder, where fantastical music machines provide the soundtrack for a tantalizing stroll through history. Vintage automobiles and memorabilia stimulate the senses around every chromed curve and corner. This is Inside Stars. This is the Phil Wright designed Legrand bodied L29 Cord Speedster that debuted famously in January of 1931 at the Auburn exhibit during the New York Auto Show. Shortly after Thanksgiving of that same year, it vanished, never to be seen again. So what are we looking at? This timeless masterpiece is a meticulous recreation. In 1995, a man named Arnie Addison, armed with extensive research, an original L29 chassis engine and drivetrain, approached restoration specialist Greg and Jeff Tyree of California with an idea. Ten years later, the brothers reproduced one of two historically accurate L29 Cord Speedsters. One resides at the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Museum, and the other is right here. The color of the car is striking, but even that is open for interpretation. Based only off black and white photographs and personal recollections, Auburn Court Duesenberg newsletter editor William Kinsman claimed the car's original color was royal cranberry and cashmere cream. The other recreation commissioned by Dr. Faye Colbreth is painted bright red and yellow. Either way, you can't go wrong. Beyond the color, Every detail, line, and curve of the car reflects the 20,000 hours of work and research the Tyrees put into the project, inch by inch scrutinized to replicate the original. And when you're talking about a car with a wheelbase of 137 and a half inches, that's a lot of scrutiny. The length of the car is as aesthetically pleasing as it is necessary. The Cord Speedster featured an inline eight-cylinder engine covered by one of the longest hoods ever seen. Throw in the three-speed manual transmission, front-wheel drive, leaf spring suspension, and the first vehicle of its kind to offer four-wheel hydraulic drum brakes, and that was a lot to package in 1931. The business end of the L29 Cord Speedster made it one of the most technologically advanced vehicles of its time. Its coachwork made it one of the most timeless. When Auburn President Roy Faulkner saw Philip Wright's completed Speedster at the 1931 New York Auto Show, he reportedly told Wright it was the most beautiful vehicle he's ever seen. Even amongst a crowd of stunners here at Stalls, the Cord remains a standout to this day. The car flows seamlessly from one enticing end to the other. The design elements take the eyes on a meandering journey from the Duesenberg green engine to the pontoon-styled fenders, the sleek, lean-back V-shaped windshield, scalloped door hinge covers. And wouldn't you know, she's just as beautiful on the inside as she is on the outside. The dash and upholstery is wrapped in supple leather to original specifications. A reproduced Duesenberg chronometer fills out the dashboard. The convertible top beautifully disappears behind the seats, and the radiant radiator ornament was created by Mark Tyree, the third of the Tyree brothers. The car was then and is today extravagant, and perhaps in a sign of the times, contained a few hidden surprises. Look, we do not, nor would we ever condone drinking and driving. And I'm pretty sure during Prohibition, drinking wasn't condoned at all. Which is why I'm always amused to discover that several cars during the era contained concealed compartments, revealing decanters and glasses. And inside the driver's door, a hidden cigar rack. Cubans, I presume. So the lost cord is found, kind of. The whereabouts of the original remain unknown to this day. 
After its debut at the New York Auto Show in 1931, it went to France for the Paris Concours des Elegants. After being shown in Europe, it was shipped and photographed at several events in Toronto. By Thanksgiving, the car was back in Auburn, Indiana, where the last known photos of the car were taken with Auburn factory service manager Frank Cutter and his family. By the end of November, it vanished. Several rumors surfaced, including one involving actress Jean Harlow and her husband, Paul Byrne. It was believed Harlow was photographed in the court at the Concourse d'Elegance in Paris in 1931. It was said that she actually purchased the car and gave it to Byrne, who did own a Cord L29 touring car, but not a speedster. The photo in Paris was a case of mistaken identity. Harlow, as it turns out, never actually left the USA. And by the time she and Byrne were married, the court had already been to Europe and made its way back to Auburn, Indiana. Conspiracy? Kaput. So what really happened? No one really knows. Some believe it was lost during World War II. Despite repeated and exhaustive attempts, the origins of the original remain a mystery. Perhaps someday it'll be found. Maybe it lives under a dirty old tarp in a broken down barn in the heart of Hoosier country, where a little old lady keeps the keys hidden underneath her nightcap. Or maybe it lives right here at Stalls, which is a heck of a lot easier to find.